everyone. Today we are doing a full face of first impressions stuff from my latest PR haul as always. You guys know the drill. I do a massive giveaway and unboxing video of all my PR mail and then we come over here and we pop it on our face and see what's good and what's not. Some of this is going to be from previous unboxings as well because I feel like it's about time I tried out the Revlon foundation that goes with the concealer I've been enjoying. The concealer I've been enjoying is the Candid. Um, it's not like a holy grail or anything. I just think it's really good, especially for a drugstore. So I want to try the foundation today because I got this in my last PR haul, even maybe before that. So it's about time. There's so many new foundations coming out. I've got the new Anastasia Beverly Hills, the new Pat McGrath, the new Naked by Urban Decay. So let me know if you would like to see those first impressions in a full face first impression, or if you would like a dedicated video, like foundation first impression video, where I go in depth and show you how it wears throughout the day. It's up to you guys. So as you can see, I've already outlined my eyebrows. I just use my MAC Studio Fix concealer just to do that quickly, just to save a little bit of time. Next up we need to prime and you can see I'm using natural lighting right now if it starts getting terrible I'll switch over to my studio lights, but I just love natural lighting so much and I'm just like soaking up the Sun right now oh, I just feel like you know a little bit of vitamin D is always good in your life <laughs> You know what let's try this LA girl primer spray spray on your face before your makeup application or to refresh your face So I'm just gonna shake this up. This is how the product looks LA girl is a really nice cheap brand some of this stuff I love some of it not so much. That is intense. It sprays a lot at once. Mmm. Smells real good. I really like the smell of that. Oh, I don't know why this is focusing on the background. Sorry. Oh, it tastes good too. Not sure if you should eat it. That smells so good. I don't know what that is. Doesn't say it's got fragrance. So you know, if you're sensitive to fragrances, be careful. But it smells really good. Like fruity-ish or like sugary. Dunno. So I'm just gonna use that as my primer. I'm just kind of patting in any excess because it spray quite a lot. Plus I spray like 80 sprays too much than I should. Can you please not focus on the back? I'm gonna go move something. I don't know if that's gonna make a difference. And yes, I'm wearing my bodysuit on top of my pants because I'm lazy. All right, so next up, let's try this foundation out. So this is in Light Honey 330. I feel like looking at this, it looks like it's gonna match, but who knows. Revlon Photo Ready Candid. Medium buildable coverage, no harsh ingredients. It's anti-pollution, antioxidant, anti-blue light, and oil-free. So it comes with a pump, you get 22 mil, which is actually a little bit less than normal. I feel like that color's all right. It might be a little bit too light, but we can work with it. And I have wet a sponge today. So I'm gonna use my Flawless Finish Sponge by Exo Beauty to just spread and blend this out. I'm trying not to get it on my earrings. My earrings are those House of Dizzy. Yeah, houseofdizzy.com earrings. They are so cool. They say baby girl. Did I put them on the wrong ears? I can't tell. I feel like the color's gonna be almost spot on. It's a little bit orangey, but like, it's not too bad. It's very thin. It's spreading out so easily. But the coverage is still nice. It's not like light coverage, but the actual formula itself feels like it should be a light coverage because it's so thin. I like that. I like foundations that don't feel like paste on your face. It feels like very moisturizing almost. I should have put my earrings on after doing my foundation. <laughs> I'm gonna go back in and just see how buildable it is over my cheeks. It's definitely too warm for me, slightly. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit. It's like, yeah, a little bit orangey, but it's not the worst with my fake tan right now. I feel like we can make it work, especially once we set it, so. Hopefully it doesn't oxidize though. I feel like it's not that buildable. Like, I feel like the coverage is just medium. It says it's buildable, but I just added some more and I feel like it just looks the same. I have to say it's covering my pores amazing. Like my pores around here look buttery soft. I'm keeping it dark so you can see the texture really well. Like it looks like skin. It looks really nice and natural from far away. It looks nice, pretty flawless. It doesn't cover everything, but it covers enough for me to be happy. Maybe I would like this mark right here covered a bit more, but yeah, I'm not blown away. But it's definitely pretty. Let's conceal and see how it looks once we've like done everything else. I don't think I have a new concealer so I'll just use the concealer from Revlon as well. The Candid Antioxidant Concealer in shade Banana. This is kind of like a color correcting one but sometimes I use it alone. Sometimes I use it under other concealers just whatever floats my boat that day you know. Gorge. <laughs> this concealer is a nice consistency. It's like not super thin, not super thick. I like the coverage. It's super brightening. Like I've only tried this color and this is a very brightening color. I don't know if all of them are brightening, but I like this one in particular. Like if I blend this out, can you see what I mean? It's just like super brightening, which is pretty. 
when I'm going for that kind of bright look. The foundation actually sets so nicely on its own. Like it doesn't feel super sticky and it seems to like not really transfer too much onto my fingers when I touch it. Now I'm going to try out the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powders. I've got banana and vanilla. I don't really know. I think I've got one more actually. Yeah I do. I've also got deep peach. Is that like way too, I don't even know. I like that's way too darky orangey for me. So I'm going to donate that one. I feel like I could almost use vanilla not vanilla banana all over my face because it's a slightly yellow undertone like i said the foundation's a little bit orangey it's actually not too bad now that it's all blended out and using the banana shade under my eyes maybe i'll just use this under my eyes i don't know i'm gonna go in with some of the powder with a small face brush and just see how this works to set my concealer you guys know me i'm like ride or die with my summer bisque by bare minerals but i'm always on the search for a powder that doesn't look heavy under my eyes as well. That's not bare minerals because I swear they're just gonna like discontinue it on me and then I'll be lost forever. I'm putting on heaps and it's not going dry and cakey so that's a good start. It doesn't look too dusty. I feel like I could have done with a little bit extra coverage under my eyes but meh. I'm just gonna go on all over with this just to set everything because it's not like ridiculously pigmented it's just a little bit brightening. So I think if I just put it all over it'll just give me a nice little bright finish. And with that foundation I really don't need much powder because like I said it set really nicely. I don't like how massive this packaging is, but it's really nice and easy to get the powder out. You know, some loose powders, it's just like a mission. Random thing to point out, but you know, <laughs> sometimes things like that matter. I don't hate the powder. I'm pretty like anti, not anti, but I don't love loose powders. I like Too Faced loose powders, a couple other brands, but I'm so fussy because most of them just make me look really dry and cakey and crap. This one, like it definitely makes me look very matte, so I'm going to want to go in with a lot of glowing products but it doesn't make me look like sick and caked and disgustingly dry definitely need some bronzer now because my face is a little bit pale I don't mind this at all I'll keep giving it a go oh let's zoom you in just so you can see the finish of my skin you can see it's very matte though and I prefer a glow so we're gonna have to add that now I've got this thingy by Natasha Denona it's called the tan bronzing glow palette and this was from my last unboxing as well and also I had a blush in like a contour color almost from Colourpop I do have an affiliate code with Colourpop now so the link will be below the discount code if you guys want to save money and then I just make a small portion off your sales as well just if you want so this hair is called Perk Up by Colourpop it's the pressed powdered cheek from the peach collection I want to give it a go because it looks like a really nice contour color it's a nice like satin finish maybe it'll be a little bit too warm but we'll soon find out because i'm about to do this yeah it's definitely a bit too warm this is more of just like a light bronzer color almost i'm just gonna commit now since i've already started it's like a peach undertone bronzer almost like it's not really oh you could use a blush actually like why not i'm just gonna do that and i'm gonna put a little bit on my nose because i feel like it'll look really nice on my nose just to help warm up my skin and then I'm going to go in with the Natasha Denona palette and I'm going to take the super dark bronzer which looks like it's going to be way too dark for me and we're going to see what it looks like on my complexion. I'm going to start with it around my temples and forehead. It's so pigmented, like one little dab goes so fast so be very careful. I usually prefer something a little bit more buildable but you know if you know how to use it and you know what to expect it's not so bad. I'm going to add that on my actual cheeks just to help sculpt my skin some more. My skin, my face. I'm gonna go under my jaw a little bit with this color. It's actually a really pretty bronzer. It doesn't look as scary on my complexion as I thought it would, but I am gonna go in with my powder brush and just make sure it's all buffed out. I'm just gonna take a different contour color real quick. I'm just using Sculpt from Tarte, and I'm just gonna make sure that I've got a little bit of contouring happening because I've got my hair up and I need that extra shape right now. And once again, why is it so hot all of a sudden? Oh, the sun. It's like shining on my desk and like reflecting freaking heat straight into me. One of my biggest fears is that one day I'll leave like my mirror out in the sun or something and my beauty room will catch on fire. Like that's how hot it gets. The sun reflects off my neighbor's roof straight into me and I'm like terrified of that happening. So I always shut my blinds because like, oh, it's like my biggest fear. Even just, you know, a house fire in general is just so scary to me. Ugh, imagine if I wasn't home. Like I'm sure the dogs would go outside because they can get outside by themselves. They've got like a door to get out. But I'm like, oh my god, it's like nightmares. What is your biggest fear, guys? Like, comment below, what's your biggest fear in life? This is quite morbid, but I'm just wondering. I'm also, like, terrified that, like, Hamish would get, like, really sick. <sighs> I don't know what I would do without him. All right, next up I'm going to take the Glow Cream Base. I don't know how well this is going to go on top of, you know, powders. 
but I really need some glow happening. So I'm just going to take that on my finger and just gently tap that and just hopefully... Oh, that's like a very deep color. I feel like this palette would be better on a darker skin tone than my own because like you can literally see where that is. Look at that. Oh, I don't like that. Don't like that. But now I've got to do it on the other side to make a match. So <sighs> this is my life now. Beautiful on a deeper skin tone. Just not me. It's too dark. It like makes me look really muddy. I'm not about that mud life. <laughs> I guess while we're here, we'll just um, chuck on the highlighter from the palette and see what it looks like and hope that it's not dark. It looks like a nice bright gold. Like, I feel like it'll look nice in my skin tone, but why can I not find a single highlighter brush right now? I've got like 50. Oh my god, finally. Okay, my favorite is the Detail Face Brush Baby So Beauty. And I'm going to take the Glow Impact Powder. Super Glow looks too dark for me. Yeah, that's a nicer color against my own complexion. It's like ridiculously blinding. Don't know how I feel about this. Like I like the bronzer color, but I mean, that's probably the only thing I would use on a regular basis. I do like the highlighter as well, but it's so similar to like my Chi Chi ones and my Tarte ones and stuff. Like why would you pay this much? Do you know what I mean? I love Natasha Denona products as well. So like, I'm not being a hater. I'm just genuinely like meh. Maybe if you were like a makeup artist, like you could use this on a few different skin tones, but like meh. It is pretty, but. Just not worth it for all four colors. So that is my opinion. Every time I say it's my opinion and I think of that vibe, it's like, that's my opinion! So I'm adding this literally like everywhere because <laughs> I just want my skin to look glowy now because I'm not about this matte life. Did you guys see my matte challenge, by the way? You guys know I hate matte makeup and I did a video where I did a full face of matte makeup. So you can comment, I mean comment, you can look down below in the down bar if you want to go watch that after this video. By the way, guys, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I upload two to three videos every single week. And I'd love to have you as part of my Shane clan. Don't forget to hit on those notifications as well, even though half the time they don't bloody work. But I kind of just upload like randomly throughout the day. So if you get a notification, you might be able to come here first and comment first and, you know, get a reply. <laughs> okay, next up, I'm going to do blush because this color right here looks so pretty. I don't know how I feel about the bronzer. Like, it's pretty, but no. Yeah. I'm going to put on some of this blush. This is called Fresh and Peachy. The perfect peachy blush. Everyone loves a good peachy blush. I'm just using a little bronzer brush to apply that to my cheeks. Just to freshen my complexion a little bit. I love blush again, you guys. I went off it for so long, but I love it. <laughs> just quickly, I'm going to pull here. I'm going to do a little spritz of the setting spray by LA Girl. And just see, you know, if it'll help to revive my skin a little. So yeah, this is the setting spray. So I don't know what the difference really is between the primer spray and the setting spray. I'm just comparing the ingredients and they're the exact same ingredients. So it might be a bit of a gimmick. I'm going to go as far away as I can because like I said... They spray a lot. The mist is really nice and fine. Literally, it smells the same as the other one too. Don't know what the difference is. Smell the same. Feel the same. That definitely gave a nicer finish to my makeup. Just kind of like soaked up the excess powder. Just like any normal setting spray does. But hey, it's super cheap. And it's really pleasant. It's just that don't spray it too close. It's like super intense. So I'm listening to the most intense friggin' music behind the scenes here. Hey, I'm gonna put on something a bit more chill. So that is like my complexion pretty much done. What do you guys think of the products? I think my skin looks really nice and natural. If you do want a very natural everyday foundation, maybe that Revlon one will be for you. Because it looks like skin. It doesn't look too heavy. It still covers a really nice amount without looking like too cakey or over the top. Revlon's an affordable brand. It's nice for the daytime because it's anti-pollutant and everything. It protects your skin a little bit from the elements. I don't know, it's pretty. It's like not my favorite. It's just nice, you know, whatever. I'm on the search for a new Holy Grail foundation, you guys. I have high expectations of the Pat McGrath foundation. I tried the Fenty foundation already. If the video's up already, I'll link it below, otherwise it's coming soon. The new hydrating one, this one right here. And it was not, you know, Holy Grail status at all. So hopefully one of the other foundations I'm yet to try, you know, Urban Decay, Pat McGrath, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Hopefully we can find a new Holy Grail because my current Holy Grail is the NARS Natural Radiance, but I've loved this for a very long time and I'm waiting for something to come along that's just going to blow me away. So we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to do some crazy eye makeup today. Why not? I've got these crazy earrings on. I'm going to use the Mitchell. I know I do that really dramatic, but whatever. This is the Me, Myself, and Mitchell palette by Beauty, Beauty, Beauty Bay. I was going to say Beauty Bliss, I don't know why. Um, it's got the little removable mirror in the middle, 
and the quality of this, like I said in my previous video, my PR unboxing haul feels so much nicer than the last Beauty Bay palette I did try because I wasn't the huge fan of it. Like a lot of the colors just weren't performing. The shimmers weren't shimmery enough for me. You know, just it wasn't my favorite. When I swatched these on my fingers, they felt so buttery. So I really want to see how they look on the eyes today. We are going to start by priming. And I don't think I have a new primer. I think I put it in my giveaway. I had a new Anastasia Beverly Hills one. But I've got so many primers, I don't really need new ones. Like, you know, I'm dropping shit everywhere. Today I'm going to use my NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Just to switch things up because I haven't used this one in a little while. Zooming you in. I know people get so angry when I don't zoom in. But it's because I forget. And you know what? YOLO. No, I'm sorry, I should do it. My eyebrows are like revolting right now, like I've got a monobrow if you look close enough, but uh, I'm just like trying to hold back and let them grow out a little bit because I'm going to go get my eyebrows waxed and tinted at Benefit again in a couple of weeks. So yeah, I love my Benefit brow treatments. So I'm just blending this eye primer out and for some reason it's separating a little bit so that's a bit interesting it doesn't usually do that maybe it's because I've not used it in a while and maybe it's like separated in the bottle a little Hopefully my friggin eyeshadow blends nicely on top of this mess. Well, well, we'll soon find out. Alright, what colors? I almost tipped over my iced coffee. No, what colors should we do guys? Look at all the different colors. This palette's so pretty. Love the range of colors it provides so I guess we'll start with like, I'm going to use this tapered eye brush. Looks like this. It's really good for packing on color and like buffing. And I'm going to take the shade Mr. H, which is this one right here. It's like a neon candy peach. Look, that color pigment is a lot better than the last Beauty Bay palette I tried. I'm going to put this, I don't know, here. <laughs> I'm trying to like match my earrings, I think, subconsciously. And then next I'm going to go into the shade Milkshake, which is a more cool toned like baby pink. Just as bright though. I'm gonna put that on the this part inside of my eyelid crease thing and then just start blending them together. I love these brushes you guys. You can buy them in a four pack. You get a tapered flat round and angled. They're really good for packing on color or also like concealing as well. Do you guys prefer to watch super crazy eye makeup tutorials or like natural wearable stuff that you'd actually put on your face? I would love to know because I usually like watching transformations like where people do like super dramatic like sexy makeup or like creative I don't know but I'm not like the best at creative makeup I try but you know I've improved a lot you know like I feel like this year I've learned how to do a better cut crease I've learned how to do more bold like bright colors so I'm definitely getting there I just need to practice some more props I'm gonna take more of the peach and just Blend that in. I love those colors too. Okay, next I guess we'll just start blending them out a little bit. I'm going to use this brush. This is the fluffy blender brush and I'm going to go in with this shade called Modest. Looks like this. It's like a pale yellowy beige. Like you could use it as a transition shade. If my blending looks really bad on this eye as well, it's because my eyebrows are not blocked and all the eyeshadow like collects on my friggin stray eyebrow hairs. It looks really patchy. And I'm just using the tapered eye brush to blend. I feel like I'm getting a bit of fading while I'm blending, so I'm just like adding more color as I go. I feel like it's sticking to the base funny when I'm trying to blend it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back in and just intensify the colors now that I've blended them a bit. I'm just gonna go back in it to my, where is it, Natasha Denona palette, if I can even find it. And I'm gonna use that bright gold color and try to highlight my brow bone. Holy shit, I've got so many brow hairs. Look at this. Can you see them all? I don't even know if you can on camera, they're so bad. I think I'm gonna give in and just pluck them soon. Well, so many eyebrow hairs. I feel like if I used my P. Louise base, this would have come out nicer, cause the NARS base, for some reason, just went really dry and chunky and it's just not holding the pigment as well. At least I think it's the base. I actually really like the way this looks already. I'm like scared to ruin it now, but we're gonna add some more color. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of the shade Morning Glory. <laughs> And I'm gonna like pack a little bit. I'm just taking on the very tip of this brush I'm just gonna like put it right in that like crease just to add a little bit more dimension This is a vibe neon dreams. Okay, and then next up I'm going to I think I'm just gonna take my finger. You know what? I'm gonna take my finger in to <laughs> know. I'm honestly like nervous. Maybe I'm gonna take the shade muffin. Let's do like a white. Oh my god. Oh, it's duochrome Okay, good choice. It's kind of like a Lilac-y, duochrome pinky. Let's see what it looks like on the eyelid. Yeah, that's a good choice. I'm not doing a cut crease or anything. I'm just like buffing that right on the eyelid just where I 
I've got that blank area. These shimmers are much better in this palette than the big palette I tried. It's good to see that they've like improved the formula. I'm really enjoying this like a lot. I love the colors, it's so fun. And then I'm gonna take maybe, I'm gonna take that bright pink again actually. I was gonna take the red, but I think I'll just stick with this. Um, and I'll just pop that right on that outer corner just to add a little bit more shape to my eye. Going back in with that color on my finger and just blending those two colors together, the hot pink and the whitish shade. I'm just using my little brush to make sure the edges are kind of sharp. And then I'm gonna take a maybe mini. This is like a deep burgundy reddish undertone color and I'm just gonna run that just underneath my eye a little. It's really pretty actually. The eyeshadow is applying so much better under my eye. <laughs> Then on top, like I think I messed it up with the primer. I'm gonna use a little bit right next to that hot pink we used on the outer corner. Yeah, that's helping. Just give it that punch it needs, I think. I'm just touching up that lid color. Oh my god, I love that color so much. It's so pretty. So glad I did that. I was gonna use like the really hot pink all over my eyelid, but I was like, no, I don't want to. And I'm so happy I did that. I'm just gonna add a little bit of that muffin color, the duochrome whitish color right on the inner corner as well. I'm just using a short shadow brush bag for beauty. I'm gonna try out this quick flick for Perfect Wings. This is a pink one though. I have used these in the past. Ooh, I like the packaging. So it looks like this. And we are going to use the, wait, okay, so that's the right side, that's the left side. Okay, got it. So, oh my God, I'm stressed. Wait, how do I do it? Like this. So this is the wing. I might thicken it up a little bit and then you switch around. Would you ever use hot pink eyeliner, guys? I'm just gonna go around. Oh my god. Yeah, look. My eyeshadow literally peeled off with that friggin' base. Can you see that? Look. Right there. <sighs> that is rude. Yeah, it's the base. It's like crumbling. I think I need to throw it away. That's not even that old. What the heck? Okay, whatever. So I'm just gonna go into that wing and just sharpen it. And then join it up to my lash line. Just like that. And go all the way across. It's definitely very easy to use. I don't usually like real thick eyeliners, but this one's not bad. Look, I did a really thin line and it didn't take long at all. The pigment's good considering it is a bright color. Like, hmm, there you go. That's quite fun. I like it. It's kind of like a red pink. I quite like it. And then you just take the other one. I'm gonna keep the box. I feel like it's practical to keep them together in the box. Otherwise, between all the other colors I have and all the other eyeliners I have, I don't wanna like mix them up, you know, and not be able to find one jade. So do the same thing. I need to line it up. Just stamp it and then I just like to go over it and sharpen it. Just a little flick and join it up. I feel like that side came out way better than the other. I am so pissed off about that eye primer. Like it's like crusty. Like when I'm doing my eyeliner I can hear it, it's like <laughs> So yeah, I think the blending would be much better on a different base. Just FYI. I don't know if it's just mine or what. Like I haven't had it that long and it seems to have just like dried out. So I'm gonna be chucking that in the bin. Which sucks because I've barely used it and it's not old. Yeah, I like this. I'm gonna go in with the shade Espresso. The packaging's really nice. It's like NARS. It's like that rubbery, like soft feeling. Um, and it is like, I'm pretty sure it's all vegan. This is what it looks like. I'm just gonna go over my eyebrows. I like the little brush. Oh, I love the color. Mm-hmm, this is good. It's very thickening. I don't know if it's got fibers in it or something, but like, can you tell the difference like between that part and that part, like this part's done? I'm gonna like do an entire eyebrow and show you like a before and after. It reminds me of Gimme Brow, like, it's almost like a pomade, you know? The brush it is quite cool too, it's like, double-sided and then thin on one side. You can't really see on camera, it's a bit hard to show. So I'm just grooming my eyebrows in it to place. And I'm just going over twice to add like extra volume, I guess. So that is this eyebrow that's just outlined with concealer and then on top of my brow, tattoos. Just this product, no filling in or anything like that. And then that's just with the concealer around the outside, so. I feel like they just look way thicker. It's like hard to just fill in any gaps without looking like overdone. I like it. The color's like amazing as well. It's like perfect. Yeah. I'm a fan. I like it. It doesn't look clumpy or like too heavy. Okay, so next up we have mascara. I'm gonna try it the uh, Lash Blast Active by CoverGirl. Cover looks like this. So I used to be obsessed with CoverGirl Lash Blast, just the original one when I was like 18, I guess, like something like that. 
Um, it was my Holy Grail mascara, so I haven't used it literally since then. This is just the Extreme Black, and I don't know what the difference is between this and the original. The wand from memory, like, I think the other one's a bigger wand, but I mean, they could have changed it by then, because I haven't used it once again in a very long time, like almost 10 years, so. I'm going, ow, I just stabbed myself in the eye. I'll do one coat and I'll just show you the before and after. All right, so that's just one coat. I'd say it's like super dark and separating. It's not like ridiculously volumizing or curling or anything. It's just like meh, but it makes my lashes so dark. Like I do like mascaras like this for before my falsies because they just work nice and quick. And you know, I love that super black look. Some mascaras are less black than others. I'm gonna do one more coat and just see if we can get some added volume. If you've already got super curly lashes, then you might like it, like long curly lashes, because it doesn't go clumpy and it just looks really dark. However, if you're looking for curl length and volume, it's like volumizing, but it's not ridiculous, you know? I'm just gonna pop on some wild one lashes. They look like this, because they're really fun. I think they'll look cool with this eye makeup look. I'm just using the Clear Duo Quick Set Glow. Get this off Exo Beauty. I haven't blended them properly yet, but a quick before and after, just in case you are curious. I haven't worn these ones on my channel in ages, so I thought I'd show you, but they're still drying. I will be clamping them together to make them look better than this. <laughs> but yeah, you can see the before and after. And back. So here's the lashes on. I got freaking mascara all over my eyelid and it's like not coming off properly. But anyway, these lashes are so cute and flirty. I love how this is turning out. Now we've got to figure out what to do on the lips. I feel like we should just do like pink and go pink, 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 pink everything all day, every day. First I'm just going to test out this color, the Jouer. I was talking about these in my PR haul, the Essential Lip Enhancer Shine Balms. Not amazing for hydration, to be honest. I don't think they're very hydrating at all, but they feel comfortable, you know, and they give a little tint. So this one's in Monarch. I'm just gonna like try it on. Yeah, that's so pretty. See how it just gives like a tint of color? I'm all about this life right now. That's so pretty. Even that looks cute. But I think we'll do a little bit more of a pop. Let me just see what I have that's new. What about these like blotted color things? I don't know if that's like too much. Should we try on the Glow Lip Oil? How do I even open this? They always put stickers over everything. So this is the Glow Lip Oil by Revlon and it's in the shade Bouncy Beige. And it looks like this. I have no idea what to expect. But let's just slap it on. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. That smells like liquid vanilla. Liquid vanilla. You know what I mean. Yeah, it's just a tinted lip oil. It's like a My Lips But Better Nude. I don't think the lasting power would be amazing, but it feels so freaking good on my lips. And it smells like the smell. You don't understand how good it smells. Just for fun, let's pop on some of the blotted lip color next. This is in the shade Blush Much, also by Revlon. And this just looks like a little liquid lipstick. Okay, it's like, yeah, it's a mousse kind of texture. It reminds me of those NYX moussey liquid lipsticks. Surprisingly applying amazing on top of the oil. This has a weird taste though. And it just looks kind of chunky. Not a huge fan of that, but I really like the oil. My base looks so radiant. Um, I think everything came out really nicely. Despite, you know, I don't think this is worth the money. It does look pretty. The foundation, the powder, everything kind of meshed really nicely. I'm just going to finish off with some setting spray. This seems to work well. Like, I don't know if it helps with longevity, but it sets nicely. It gets rid of excess powders and just makes everything look a little bit more glowy, like how I like it. And the lighting kind of cooperated today. Woo! So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what videos you want to see next i have a few ideas of you know some videos i've never done before so those will be coming soon i love this eye makeup i can imagine wearing this to like a festival or something or like a party i think it's really fun i love pink eyes so <laughs> i'll talk to you guys in my next video